Getting a spacecraft to orbit is no small feat. This complex process requires extensive knowledge, precise engineering, and significant resources. Hence, many aerospace companies still struggle to achieve this goal. Virgin Galactic provides a compelling example. This company has faced several setbacks in their quest to develop a reliable, reusable space plane. One of their most tragic incidents occurred in 2014 during a test flight. The vehicle broke apart mid-air, causing the death of one pilot and severely injuring another. Another case worth noting is Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. Designed to transport astronauts to the International Space Station, the Starliner encountered problems during its first uncrewed test flight in December 2019. An onboard timing error resulted in the spacecraft burning too much fuel, preventing it from reaching the International Space Station as planned. The Starliner had to return to Earth without completing its mission, marking a significant setback for Boeing. But, when it comes to SpaceX, they have successfully launched hundreds of vehicles into orbit, accumulating invaluable experience along the way. However, the company's latest ambition of launching Starship into orbit is presenting new challenges. When we talk about reaching space and getting to orbit, we mean two different things. There's a line called the Kármán line about 100 kilometers up from the ground. When a spaceship gets to this line, we say it's in space. If it goes up to space and then comes back down without circling the Earth, we call this a suborbital flight. But to get into orbit, which means to go around the Earth, the spaceship has to go even higher, above 200 kilometers. Once there, it has to go super fast, at least 28,000 kilometers per hour, to keep circling the Earth without falling back down. This is called being in orbit. Sending Starship into orbit introduces a whole new set of challenges that go beyond those encountered with previous SpaceX vehicles. The main reason for these problems lies in the main objective of Starship, the human colonization of Mars. This grand dream calls for considerable modifications in the spacecraft's design, like mass, payload capacity, the materials used in its construction, the type of engine it employs, and several other considerations. The mass of the Starship plays a pivotal role in these challenges. The rule of thumb in rocket science is that the heavier the object, the stronger the thrust required to overcome gravity. Starship has a total mass of around 5,000 tons, a weight category that far surpasses any of SpaceX's previous rocket models. This figure represents the combined mass of the spaceship itself, its fuel, and its payload, making it one of the heaviest vehicles ever to attempt to reach space. The payload capacity of Starship, another key feature, is equally impressive. It is designed to transport up to 100 passengers or 1,000 tons of cargo to Mars. Another challenge comes from the use of new materials and technologies. Starship is the first SpaceX vehicle to use stainless steel alloys, Raptor engines, and liquid methane. These untried elements bring an element of uncertainty and risk to the mission. Furthermore, the support system for Starship's launch is a work in progress. The launch pad below the orbital launch mount was damaged during the last launch due to the excessive thrust of the Raptor engines, indicating that improvements and upgrades are needed. Despite these challenges, SpaceX has been diligently making upgrades and changes. The most recent version of SpaceX's Starship carries an impressive total of 39 engines. 33 are housed within the first stage booster, known as the Super Heavy, while six are embedded in the Starship itself. But in true Musk style, even this formidable count is not the end of the story. Musk has suggested through a tweet that three more engines will be added to the second stage. This will increase the total count to an iconic number, 42, which Musk hinted was the meaning of life. His cryptic tweet, three more engines for the meaning of life, is a clever nod to a cultural touchstone. The transformations in the Starship's design aren't confined to the number of engines it houses. They reach into the core of the engines themselves. The current Raptor 2 engines will likely be replaced by the more powerful and lighter Raptor 3. These new engines are set to offer several advantages over their predecessors, promising not only a boost in power output, but also a decrease in weight. This dual benefit of increasing power while reducing weight can significantly enhance the overall efficiency of the spacecraft. In addition to the aforementioned upgrades, SpaceX has designs on integrating a hot staging process into Starship's launch protocol. 
Hot staging is a technique that has been used in spaceflight for many years and involves the ignition of the second stage's engines while the spacecraft is still attached to the first stage. The hot staging method brings a host of benefits. One significant advantage is the prevention of potential damage that can occur during the critical stage of separation. The moments of separation between stages are among the most delicate phases of a launch. By initiating the second stage engines while still attached to the first stage, the push from the ignition itself aids in the clean separation of the stages, reducing the risk of collision or damage. In terms of infrastructure, SpaceX is also upgrading the launch site. Last week, SpaceX did some tests on a special part of their rocket called the water-cooled steel plate. This is a big step towards their next big flight into orbit. This steel plate is a very important part of the rocket. Its job is to get rid of the huge amount of heat that builds up when the rocket launches and flies. These tests are super important because they make sure that the steel plate can handle the very high heat during the flight. This keeps the rest of the rocket safe and in one piece. Meanwhile, new insights are emerging from the dramatic April 20th Starship launch event. Researchers have discovered the true nature of the mysterious material that rained down during the powerful liftoff. The material turned out to be ordinary beach sand from beneath the launch pad. The newly installed water deluge system will be reducing the chances of a similar sand ejection incident. During the launch, SpaceX's Super Heavy rocket ignited 30 of its 33 engines, propelling the Starship spacecraft upward for around four minutes before being deliberately destroyed due to malfunctions. Moreover, the Federal Aviation Administration is exercising an extra level of caution before granting SpaceX the license for their next launch attempt. The, the 20th of April incident served as a stark reminder of the unpredictability of rocket launches and the potential risk they pose not only to the launch site, but also to the surrounding areas. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.